me Chris. You guys see today with this beautiful cinnamon roll hat. <laughs> with this guy. <laughs> hey, it's me Chris, aka King of Spears, aka. Woo! Built! Different! AKA Chubby Rain in the flesh! AKA Monsieur King of the Tapirs! AKA the guy your mom's always talking about! Today we're doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet. Please let me know what it is. We're watching a movie! What movie are we watching today? We are watching The Princess Bride. For the longest time we've thought we've seen this film, but as we put our noggins together, We've recognized we don't remember absolutely anything about it. True! All we know is Andre the Giant's in it. True! That's about it. That is about it. If this movie came out, if this reaction came out, that means we actually never saw it. All right? We're not assholes. We would never lie to you. We would never push out content that is a fallacy to what we believe in. All right? But you know who we always believe in? The people on the Patreon. We believe them. Every single one of them. I believe in you guys. You guys are capable of great things. Anything you want to do, you put your mind to it. Bada boom! Bada bing! See how I reversed that? Yeah, you did. I believe in you. And we have those of you who are subscribed to the channel. You guys are also great individuals and I believe in you. True! You make good decisions. True! Hence why you subscribe to the channel. True! Thank you, thank you, thank you. But then we have those of you who are not subscribed to the channel. Like, you guys don't make good decisions at all. And coincidentally, you also smell like shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some would say you are shit. All right? But hey, that's your choice. Now, you don't have to be shit. No. Nope. You're choosing to be shit. And you can simply subscribe to the channel right now. And your first step to making a good decision in your life. So please subscribe to the channel. Make a good decision. Support the channel. Be a great individual. Stop smelling like shit. Yeah. And do the right uh, thing. God damn it. Please. The Princess Bride. Princess Bride, baby. Uh, Baseball! <laughs> oh, shit, look at him go. He's running. Run, you little asshole. Run. Oh, no. oh hey, kid. Yo, what's up, kid? You feeling any better? A little bit. Grandfather's here. Grandpa. Don't pinch oh, cool. my cheek. I hate that. I was just sick. Huh? <laughs> oh no. Straight for the cheek, baby. I think I'll leave you two pals alone. I brought you a special present. What is it? Open it up. Damn, we get a gift early? Nice. A book? That's right. When I was your age, television was called books. Interesting. But my father used to read to me when I was sick, and I used to read it to your father. And today, I'm going to read it to you. Oh, okay, that's kind of sick. Oh, <sighs> no pun intended. Fighting, torture, revenge, torture, monster. Revenge! Doesn't sound too bad. I'll try and stay awake. Oh, well, thank you very much. It's very nice. <laughs> you voted. I wasn't expecting that much hair, my god. I was expecting no hairline. Well, it's way too nice, what the hell? Right? Who is this guy? By S. Morgan Stern, chapter one. Buttercup was raised on a small farm. Buttercup? Buttercup? Buttercup. Farm boy, polish my horse's saddle. I want to see my face shining in it by morning. As you wish. Oh my god, it's him. He looks so dreamy, it's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Farm boy, fill these with water. Please. Oh, being Ooh. polite now. Nice. Damn, a little bit of please. Uh oh, she's done. She's smitten. I don't blame her. Discovered that when he was saying as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. Yeah, you could tell by his eyes. Like, he has that intent behind it. Hold it, hold it. What is this? Is this a kissing book? Wait. A kissing book? Oh, no. Wesley had no money for marriage, so he packed his few belongings and left the farm to seek his fortune across the sea. It was cool. a very emotional time for Buttercup. I don't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. Nah, man. But what if something happens to you? I will always come for you. But how can you be sure? This is true love. Ooh. Oh, damn. He's a little too smooth with it. His ship was attacked by the dread pirate Roberts, who never left captives alive. Oh, that's... Buttercup got the news that Wesley was murdered. Murdered by pirates is good. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like, finally, it's interesting. Someone died. Five years later, the main square of Florence City was filled as never before to hear the announcement of the great Prince Humperdinck's bride. Humperdinck? Humperdinck? Did I hear that right? Humperdinck? Oh, he looks 
like an asshole. A month from now, our country will have its 500th anniversary. I know his voice. Oh, he Just voiced Jack Skellington. Now, you have to like play in that movie where he was like a vampire next door. Yeah, he was the vampire. Is that Fright Night? Yeah, I think so. But, but he's Jack What's Skellington. Like Potter. That is such a bizarre name. She looks miserable as shit. Despite Humperdinck's reassurance that she would grow to love him, the only joy she found was in her daily ride. That's actually depressing as hell. Very depressing. The man you love dies and now you're married to an asshole. The only pleasure in life is a horse. We are but poor lost circus performers. You look like it. <laughs> Nothing nearby. Not for miles. Then there will be no one to hear you scream. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh my god. Andre the Giant's hand is huge. <laughs> Bro, oh my god. It looked like he could just went for the whole head. <laughs> yeah, he could have just smushed it. <laughs> Once the horse reaches the castle, the fabric will make the prince suspect the Gildarians have abducted his love. You never say anything about killing anyone. I've hired you to help me start a war. <laughs> I just don't think it's right, killing an innocent girl. You were not hired for your brains, you hippopotamic landman! Holy shit. Wow. Do you want me to send you back to where you were? Unemployed in Greenland? For a little guy, man, he's got a lot of attitude. He's mean as shit! The prince will see you all hanged. Of all the necks on this boat, Highness, the one you should be worrying about is your own. Damn, dude doesn't give Come a shit. Come on from a guy who needs, like, two stools? Come on. <laughs> no one in Gilder knows what we've done. And no one in Florin could have gotten here so fast. Suddenly, I just happened to look behind us and something is there. What? what, there is something? Is he just trying to stress him out? Oh no, there is a boat, okay. Oh! oh, oh Go in! Oh. Get after her! I don't swim. <laughs> what, what, what is that sound? Do you know what that sound is, Highness? Those are the shrieking eels. Shrieking eels? How do they taste? Always grow louder when they're about to feed on human flesh. Oh, shit. Whoa! She doesn't get eaten by the eels at this time. What? This time? Get her. I'm explaining to you because you look nervous. Well, maybe I was a little bit concerned, but that's not the same thing. All right, smartass. Now, if you want. No, you could read a little bit more. <laughs> Dad, oh, you just club the eel's head. I suppose you think you're brave, don't you? Only compared to some. Yikes. Hey, hey yo. Clefts of insanity! Hurry up! Insanity. I cannot wait to learn why it's called that. Oh my god! Okay, that's really cool. Holy shit, that's insane. It pays to be strong. I'm just impressed the rope could support that amount of weight. Well, it's a very thick rope. Look at that thing. True. Oh, yeah, he's climbing fast. Holy shit. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Oh, yeah, it's thick. He's struggling yeah, to cut yeah, it. He has a little baby knife. Got very good arms. He didn't fall? Inconceivable. <laughs> You be careful. People in masks do not be trusted. Oh, true. Wise words. True. Slow going? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate <laughs> it if you wouldn't distract me. <laughs> I swear on the soul of my father, Domingo Montoya. You will reach the top alive. Domingo? I kind of like that, how he's just so impatient to fight him. Yeah, he's just he's like, like... He's hoping that it's going to be a good one. So might as well help him anyways. Yeah, let's speed things up. Let's let's have some fun. Well, wait, 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 wait until you're ready. Again, thank you. <laughs> Dude, he, I like this so much. You don't by any chance happen to have six fingers on your right hand? 
My father was slaughtered by a six-fingered man. Six fingers? What the? Mm -hmm. When the six-fingered man appeared and requested a special sword, my father took the job. He slept a year before he was done. Wow, okay, that's a cool sword. The hilt looks nice. My father refused. Without a word, the six-fingered man slashed him through the heart. So naturally, I challenged his murderer to a duel. Six-fingered man gave me a life, but he gave me this. Hmm. How old were you? I was 11 years old. Wow. Shit. I dedicate my life to the study of fencing. I will go up to the six-fingered man and say, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, oh, that's just cold, man. Ah. You ready then? Whether I am or not, you've been more than fair. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. <laughs> Dude, I love that so oh, much. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa. You are wonderful. Thank you. I've worked hard to become so. <laughs> I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't know. And what is that? I am not left handed. Oh, that's that. so cool. God, it's sick. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's something I want to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left handed either. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. God, that's cool. Oh, he just wa- Oh, shit! He's doing the fault! Oh, he's too cool! No one of consequence. I must get used to disappointment. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Dude! Oh, he's so hey, cool! Dude. He's too cool! Stop him! <gasps> oh. I would soon destroy a stained glass window as an artist like yourself. However, since I can't have you following me then. <sighs> Oh, a little dunk. Please understand, I hold you in the highest respect. That's actually really cool. I that was that really was such good. a fun choreography as yeah, well. That was really well done. The dialogue between the two of them is just superb. It really is. We face each other as God intended. Sportsman life. No tricks, no weapons. Skill again, skill wrong. I think the odds are slightly in your favor at hand fighting. <laughs> <laughs> or being the biggest and the strongest. I don't even exercise. That's kind of a flex, man. That's kind of terrifying, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, grappling him isn't really that great of an idea. Are you just fiddling around with me, or what? I just want you to feel you're doing well. I hate for people to die on the hands. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that is so... Why are you wearing a mask? Were you burned by acid or something like that? Oh no, it's just they're terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. That is ironic as hell. That oh is God. actually. I have to be one. I'm a one. Did, did he really knock him out? I do not envy you the headache you will have when you awake. But in the meantime, rest well. Dream of larger women. <laughs> I just love how, like, they have their little fight, but they're also just, like, casually talking. Yeah, they're just communicating with each other. Clearly, this was all planned by warriors of Gilda. We must all be ready for whatever lies ahead. Could this be a trap? I always think everything could be a trap. Which is why I'm still alive. Okay, damn. All right. If you wish you're dead, by all means, keep moving forward. I can't compete with you physically, and you're no match for my brains. You're that smart. Uh-oh. In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? To the death? I accept. That's smart. Feed his ego. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is called iocane powder and is among the more deadly poisons known to man. Huh. How pleasant. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and we both drink. Iocane comes from Australia, as everyone knows. And Australia is entirely peopled with criminals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What in the world can that be? What? Where? I don't see anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's so funny? I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> from my class, and you from yours. 
<laughs> His face is so funny. He's got a shit-eating grin. You guessed wrong. You only think I guessed wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched glasses when your back was turned. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. All that time it was Shortcut that was poisoned. They were both poisoned. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to Iocane powder. Oh my god. Whoa! Wow, that is next level shit. Wow. Dude, that's literally next level intelligence. I'm immune to it. Whatever you ask for ransom, you'll get it. I promise you. And what is that worth? The promise of a woman. You're very funny, I. Oh, God damn! It's not matter where you take me. There's no greater hunter than Prince Humperdinck. Humperdinck? Ew. If she is otherwise when I find her, I should be very put out. Very put out! I didn't like the way he said that. What an interesting use of words. You're the dread pirate Roberts. Admit it. With pride. <laughs> You killed my love. On the high seas, your ship attacked. I mean, once word leaks out that a pirate has gone soft, people begin to disobey you, and then it's nothing but work, work, work all the time. <laughs> my pain. Life is pain, Highness. Damn. Damn. So differently as selling something. Damn, life is pain. I like that. Now tell me truly, when you found out he was gone, did you get engaged to your prince that same hour, or did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? You mm. locked me once, never do it again. I died that day. Uh oh. You can die too for all I can. Oh. oh shit! As you wish. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> wait, 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 why are we tumbling down too? Oh my oh god, my, this yo. is a big ass mountain. Holy shit. That's a huge oh. hail. Oh, oh, lost his mask. Oh. Kinda looks fun, I ain't gonna lie. Well, I mean, it depends on how you land. On your neck, not so much fun. I'd roll a lot better, too. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably keep going. They are headed dead into the fire swamp. The fire swamp? Why does that sound like something out of, like, Dark Souls or something? The fire swamp. Oh my god, you got dreamier. You're alive. If you want, I can fly. Whoa. Power of love, baby. Why didn't you wait for me? You were dead. Death cannot stop true love. Ooh, okay. this is so cool. Wesley and Buttercup raced along the ravine floor. Ha! Your pig fiance is too late. <laughs> A few more steps and we'll be safe in the fire swamp. Safe we'll in the never fire survive. swamp. Nonsense. You're only saying that because no one ever has. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting outlook on it. <laughs> what a positive perspective. Fire to the swamp. Cool. One thing I will say, that swamp certainly does keep you on your toes. I like that it lives up to its name. There yeah. is fire. Ah! Oh, what? Oh, what the? F That's a big rat. Holy shit! I don't like the way it moves. No, I hope it dies. That was fun. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Whoa! Whoa, the big rat. Multiple rats! The fire swamp rats. Oh, oh shit! Yeah! Yeah! Cover his ass! Beat its ass! Something buttercup! Buttercup! Kill it or something! Punch it! Kick it! Pull its tail! Yeah, grab him by the tail and whip him around! Oh damn, he's schmoovin'. Oh my god. Alright, alright, poke him a little bit. No, oh, we gotta bash him over the head! Come on, a full swing! That's his swing in his ass! Yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> ah! He's roasting! Oh no. Good night, sweet rat. We did it. You, you might want to get that cleaned up. Oh, shit.
bullshit! Oh no, the asshole brigade is here. Surrender! You mean wish to surrender to me? Very well, I accept. <laughs> he is a sailor on the pirate ship Revenge. Promise to return him to his ship. I swear it will be done. Once we're out of sight, take him back to Florin and throw him in the pit of despair. The pit of despair? The pit of despair. Come, sir. We must get you to your ship. <gasps> He's a six-fingered man! You have six fingers on your right hand. Someone was looking for you. Oh, he did not like that. Nah, man. How dare you notice my six fingers, you asshole? How dare you talk shit about my insecurity? Who the hell is this ugly creature? Oh my god, they look very sickly. Maybe a fall down the stairs into the fire would help. Where am I? The pit of despair. <laughs> oh! Don't even think about trying to escape. Wait, <laughs> Wait what? <laughs> You survived the fire swamp, you must be very brave. But nobody withstands the machine. The machine? The machine? What is the machine? After all that Wesley did for her, if she didn't marry him, it wouldn't be fair. Well, who says life is fair? Where is that written? True. Life is an yeah. old thing. I'm telling you, you're messing up the story. Now get it right. <laughs> you oh, want shit. me to go on with this? You're reading the book wrong, Grandpa. <laughs> fix those glasses. Yeah. Fix those glasses and fix those words. I present to you your queen, Buttercup. Buttercup. I still can't get uh, uh, with that name. Oh. oh. She's got a big crown, too. Oh, my God. How are you not, like, tilting left and right with that thing on your head? True love saved her in the fire swamp and she treated it like garbage. And that's what she is. The queen of refuse. Rubbish, filth, slime, muck. Boo! Boo! Oh, I was gonna say, that's impressive, like, just next level being a hater. Yeah, that was real, ladies getting executed. <laughs> I was waiting for the crossbow bolt, just boom, right in the head. I love Wesley. I always have. If you tell me I must marry you in ten days, please believe I will be dead by morning. Oh, shit. Do you think he cares? Are you certain he still wants you? After all, it was you who did the leaving in the fire swamp. My Wesley will always come for me. Hey, yo. <laughs> that look of like, all right. Sure thing, buddy. Whatever you say. Please consider me as an alternative to suicide. Are we agreeing? I don't know. I think uh, offing yourself seems a lot better in comparison. Your princess is really quite a winning creature. Trifle. A winning creature? A winning creature. Interesting way to describe a woman. But it's going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. Once Gilda is blamed, the nation will be truly outraged. They'll demand we go to war. Oh, all right. I'm sure you've discovered my deep and abiding interest in pain. At present, I'm writing the definitive work on the subject. Oh, interesting. Totally honest with me on how the machine makes you feel. This being our first try, I'll use the lowest setting. Oh, how, uh, kind. Is it like using pressure or something? I've just sucked one year of your life away. I might one day go as high as five, but I really don't know what that would do to you, so... Wow. It sucks the life out of you? Interesting. I want the thief's forest emptied before I wed. It won't be easy, sir. I'll try ruling the world sometime. Oh, shit! Wow! <laughs> Damn! Wow! Is everybody out? Almost. There's a sponge giving us some trouble. Will you give him some trouble? All right. Move. Okay. okay. That's the solution. Give him the trouble. You truly love each other. Not one couple in a century has that chance, no matter what the storybooks say. So I think no man in a century will suffer as greatly as you will. Oh, all the way to 50. Oh, shit, he's gonna suck 50 years out of him. Do you hear? That is the sound of ultimate suffering. My heart made that sound when Ruga slaughtered my father. Wow. wow. Black makes it. You get that from this grove, yes? Fezzik, jog his memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Nigo. I didn't mean to jog him so hard. <laughs> the Mantoyas have never taken defeat easily. Come along, Fezzik, bring the body. The body? 
Have you any money? I have a little. I just hope it's enough to buy a miracle. That's all. A miracle. We need a miracle. It's very important. So why would you want someone the king's thinking son fired? I might kill whoever you wanted me to miracle. He's already dead. I'll take a look. <laughs> <laughs> if they're dead, it's okay. It's failsafe. I've seen worse. <laughs> well, with all dead, there's usually only one thing that you can do. What's that? Go through his clothes and look for loose change. <laughs> <laughs> we have Miracle Max make a pill to bring you back. Are we enemies? Why am I on this wall? Let me explain. No, there is too much. <laughs> now, I'll need a sword eventually. Why? <laughs> Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. <laughs> Just your average British person. Yeah. I did not expect that. Oh. You will not be here. No. Light him. The great power. Whoa. Thanks, no survivors. All you wolves, nightmares, I'm about to come true. Oh my god. Wow. True, wow. <laughs> Skip to the end. Yeah, Have please. you the wing? The wing? <laughs> the wing? <laughs> Princess Barkwap. Man, let's <laughs> see, man. Barkwap? What the what? Man and wife. Holy He's like a cartoon character. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <gasps> what, what, what? He runs! Get his six-fingered ass! <laughs> There's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world. It would be a pity to damage yours. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! You killed my father. Prepare to die. Stop saying that! Oh. Whoa! Ooh. Yes! Yeah. Yes! No! Offer me money. Yes. Power to promise me that. All that I have and more. Hit him in the same place. Offer me everything I ask for. Anything you want. I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Ooh! Oh, shit! I like how he stabbed him in all the same places. Yeah. To the death. No! To the pain. I don't think I'm quite familiar with that phrase. <laughs> the next thing you lose will be your left eye, followed by your right. And then my ears, I understand. Let's get on with it. Wrong! Your ears you keep, and I'll tell you why. What? So that every shriek of every child at seeing your hideousness will be yours to cherish. Oh, oh shit! Every babe that weeps at your approach, every woman who cries out, Dear God, what is that thing? will echo in your perfect... Oh, oh my God. Drop your sword. Yeah. Why does Wesley need helping? Because he has no strength. I knew it. I knew you were bluffing. I knew he was bluffing. <laughs> I have been in the revenge business so long. I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Have you ever considered piracy? You make a wonderful Dread Pirate Roberts. Oh. And as they reach for each other, What? Now it's kissing again. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> now I think you ought to go to sleep. Maybe you could come over and read it again to me tomorrow. As you wish. Oh. Oh my god. That's so good. That is so good. All right, we just watched The Princess Bride, and uh, we've actually 100% never saw the film. I think yeah. the thing is, is that our parents talked about this film a lot, because 
it's actually our parent, one of our parents' favorite film ever. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I think it's because of how much they've talked about it that we were like, yeah, we've probably seen it. I, I didn't. I didn't even know the whole concept of, of it was a, a grandfather reading his uh, grandson a story. I didn't even know that. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, I don't know shit. Yeah, 100% never seen this shit. Yeah, All right, so cool. I'm glad we could have watched uh, one of our parents' favorite films. It's like, wonderful. Uh, not even that, man, but the movie is just phenomenal. Like, it is. It's truly one of the greatest films I've seen. I, I genuinely like how... I just like how everything goes in full cir- circle when the grandfather, you know, ends the story and walks away and, you know, his grandson says, could you read it to me again? He's like, as you wish. Yeah. It's really sweet. Was, it's really dude, nice. That was so smart. And to just end it on that note, too? Yeah. Oh. That kind of blew my mind. Uh, that was a really nice way to, to end the film. Oh, my God, dude. I, I liked everything about it. Uh, specifically, my favorite is probably the dialogue. Oh, yeah. The dialogue is super... You know it, the thing is... It's very well written and performed. Like, I, I really, um... I forget, what's the, uh, and what's the name of the actor for Wesley? And it was like Carrie Elwes. It Carrie was, Elwes or something. I so don't like, know the exact we, pronunciation of, of we, his name. We, we've seen him in a bunch of stuff already. We saw him in Men in Tights. He was in Twister. Yeah, he was in the original Twister. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have to say original Twister. Imagine that, right? Unfortunately, but yeah. It is what it is. Uh, yeah. I don't heard the new one's actually not bad, so who knows? Oh, okay. That's I heard it's okay. Bad. Well, but I like Carrie Elwes. I think he's a, a, a phenomenal actor. I, 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 wish he, I wish he did more. He probably has done quite a bit. Oh, we also watched him in that movie there. Uh, what was it called? Was it Matthew Broderick or Denzel Washington? Um, I can't remember the title. Oh, Glory. Glory, yeah, that's I it. I think it was... Oh, my God. Was he actually... In, yes. Oh, my God, you're He played right. Matthew Broderick's best, like, oh best friend. Oh, my God, you're it, right. Dude, as soon as I start thinking about him, I'm like... No, you're dots. so right. Holy yeah, shit. He's a fantastic actor. I love him every time I see him. It just brings me happiness. Every, every time you see him, you know the movie's going to be good. Yeah, it's just it. like... This role, though, specifically, is just like... Oh, it's best. It's, it's because best it's just like... He just has that charisma and charm that pulls it off entirely. Oh, yeah. I, the one thing, like, you were just talking about dialogue in the film. The, what I can say about this movie, I think it's, it has some of the most fun dialogue. Yeah. Where you kind of want to see, uh, you just want to see characters interact with each other even more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I really like the whole entire, uh, I like the whole entire, uh, dialogue scene, uh, before the duel at the, uh, at the cliff top there. Yeah. I think that the, 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 uh, the kind of, like, the exchange between the two characters is phenomenal and well done. That's it. I kind of yeah. like how... Uh, how they're kind of being friendly, and then they're like, even mid-fight, they're kind of like having a conversation as well. Yeah. They're very casual. I, kind I, of like complimenting each other and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it was really it was great. Just, it, it was just very fun overall, that whole entire uh, segment. I kind of like how he even waited for him to climb up the mountain and everything. And gave him a time to rest yeah, and everything. Yeah, it was very honorable. You know, I want to make sure this is very fair. This that's, is why honorable fight. that's why he didn't kill him. It's just he was good to me. I'll be good to him. Pretty much, yeah. Like, I'll give him the same kind of even treatment. Like, I think, like, Andre the Giant was actually really perfect as well. Weirdly oh, enough. Yeah, like the lovable giant. I would have never thought of him being someone who, like, acting would be up his alley. But, like, he played his role perfectly. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. And I really like the whole time he's fighting as well. He's like he's being choked out and he's talking at the same time, kind of like explaining who he is and, and what he does. And the funny thing is, because he doesn't have the brains, him talking is making it even worse for himself, yeah. and he's knocking <laughs> himself out. Yeah. I kind of love that. Yeah. Even like, I can't remember the actor's name who played um, little, no little short little bald guy. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I know him. I've heard his voice since release. I've seen him in many things. Yep. And it's just like, the, he had so much passion behind the way he he acted like it's a shame that he died as early as he did he had to man on he, he had to he, but like so <laughs> honestly dude the guy was so good inconceivable inconceivable all the time man <laughs> yeah i love that even when he's called that you probably don't even know what it means he doesn't care he keeps using yeah it. <laughs> i love that i love this ego because he knew like just the fact that he also like wesley poisoned both of them. It was super smart because Wesley knew that he had such a big ego. Yeah. That he would accept. He would only accept the the, the game the game of wits because it would be putting his brain on the uh, on the yeah. um, his brain to challenge. And he knew he would overthink it to the point where he was cl- like sometimes, sure he was right. Yeah. And he would drink regardless because he was so being, confident. Sometimes being too smart or too uh, or being like uh, overconfident in yourself is not a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like how you use that against him. It was funny. I love that. And he's just like, oh, yes, I've uh, I, I've made myself immune to it. Like, dude, that's, like, next level. Like, in, like that's yeah. next level intelligence right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like the, uh, what, what was it? <laughs> uh, the Miracle, what was the name? Miracle something. Oh, Billy Crystal? It was Billy Crystal. I know. It's Mike Wazowski. I know. As soon as I heard him talk, I'm like, 
I know that one-eyed green monster. <laughs> I know that green-eyed piece of shit. It's Mike Wazowski! That one-eyed green piece of shit, Mike Wazowski. No, yeah. but he was super funny. I, I like that the whole entire thing. And his wife walks in, a witch! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that. Lifts his arm, sees a drop. Eh, I've seen worse. <laughs> he had such great delivery. That's I thought that was super Dude, funny. Also, I gotta like say for, uh, for Carrie Ellis again, the way that he was able to do his acting with his body being limp was impressive. Oh, it was yeah. so well done. The way he just like rolls around, he's like, lit. <laughs> it was so good and believable. Like it was really well done. Yeah, that was super. I good. love that. I also like the the guy who played uh, the villain, Humpy. Hump, what was it? Humperdinck. Humperdinck. Yeah, I think his name was Chris Sarandon or something like that. I know he yeah, voiced he, Jack Skellington. He's, he's there were some points where he talked, and I was like, instantly you knew. Instantly oh, you just knew, right? Oh, I just remember him from Fright Night. I think the movie was yep, called. It was. And that's it. He knows. Like, the only thing is, he has the perfect face of someone who's very evil. Yeah, you know he has that I'm a evil villain kind of look to him. You know, I'm a, I'm a I'm a very pompous, handsome, evil guy. Exactly, it works. Yeah, he he, he, he had it nailed. He had it nailed. But I think my favorite thing ever was um, what was his name? And I it what was his, I have to look it up now. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I have to look it up now. Is it Inigo? It says like there, Montoya, dude. He was absolutely perfect as a character. And I love the final fight. I love where he, exactly where he got stabbed. He stabbed him back. He stabbed he him back. He, he and paid he, him back. Yeah, he paid him back in, in the same places. He even he, marked his cheeks like he did to yeah. him. And I like how he says, will you give me anything I want? And he's like, I just want my father back. Stabs him. Bang. Dude, that was so badass. I want my father back, you son of a bitch. And just stabs him. Because you know, you can't give me anything. No, the Dude. one thing I want, you've already taken. Dude, it, like that whole final fight sequence and the, how he kept like repeating it, repeating over and over again. It was like giving him power, the it phrase. It was like giving him strength yeah. to keep going. Because he said, you when know? I meet this man, this is exactly what I'm going to say. And he just kept repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. And it was kind of like bringing back all that motivation and that fuel for that vengeance. Yeah, I kind of also... I love that. I kind of also like when he meets the man with the six fingers. He runs away. That was kind of... I didn't even expect that. No. You know, and I thought that was kind of interesting, and it shows you why his father probably was killed by this man because he was a coward, and he did something cowardly, just like having a seat, like a, a knife in hand, and just throwing it or killing him. Yeah. By uh, through deceit, you know, it was not yeah. an honorable fight. Yeah. Because he, he mentioned his father being a good swordsman, you know. And well, no, he was a blacksmith. He was a he was a sword crafter. Yeah. Well, sorry, I mean, like, whatever. All right. Anyway, he died. Yeah. All right, and uh, probably died to some stupid shit like that. Again, he's a sword maker, not a sword fighter, right? So he probably wasn't that skilled. Probably, uh, I would be surprised. You, you, well, don't, you make swords, but you don't use swords. Yeah, you don't. You, you don't, don't, you don't use your own supply, bro. That's the the rule. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. You know, that's why his son kind of like got but, inspired to like learn swordsmanship after being like humiliated and like yeah. being let to live. I don't know. All, okay, all, it's just a really good character. And like at the end, like even Wesley hints to him, like you, you should try piracy. Yeah, you, you, should, you should be the next Roberts. He's, yeah, he's willing to pass on the mantle. He's That's ready to retire. so cool too. That I love that idea a lot. Yeah. Well, that whole thing in general of like how the the pirate just keeps on like pretty much like passing down the name like he's Batman or Spider Man. Yeah, know? right. It's kind of like that that kind of vibe, that is you know? so cool. Here, you get the mask. Yeah, you, kind you of get thing. a whole brand new crew, and you basically allow them to you become like a first mate. Let them believe that this guy is the, is the real like mm -hmm. Roberts. And then you just go and retire at some point. You just ditch it and you're out. That is so... That alone in itself could make a great story. That whole yeah. concept and idea, I loved oh, it. yeah. It's so cool. I don't know. All in all, a great film. I know why now our parents loved it. It's well, really... Just that, I can see why a lot of people have been begging for us to react to it. Yeah, and I you truthfully know, felt like, oh, we've probably we, seen we this. We actually held this... We, we held this one off. We've held off a few... We've done this for a few movies where we think we've seen it. I think we did that with um, Die Hard and Men in Black. Where we thought, oh, maybe we've seen this already. Yeah. You know, and we kind of uh, held off on it just in case. Because it, it's really tough when you when you invest the time into a movie and then you realize, oh, I think I've already seen this. And we have to cut the whole footage. Yeah, we, then we have to scrap it. So generally, taking that risk kind of sucks ass. But this one, we kind of felt like it's time. Yeah. And I'm glad we did. Because like, like I said, as soon as I saw the, the grandfather and that and the kid, I was like, I don't know what the hell is going on. I thought this was purely fantasy. But like, yeah. no, it's just being read a book. And I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. What an interesting idea. Yeah. I don't know, all in all, great film. I loved it a lot. Yeah, overall, we're super happy that uh, we got to react to this, that it actually became a, a reality. Yeah. You know? So, um, whoop, we're going to peace on out. We're going to peace on out like um, six fingers. Like six fingers. Yep. Boom! Ah!